So this is the forest spot on the micro is Manu Holzmeister. I'm here in my living room and I have guests here. I spoke an invitation <laughs> out. I don't know, this is not this is not English, huh? Louis, Lolo, this is not English what I said now. It is, I, it is what you think. So I'm here, <laughs> Lolo and Imre. Yes. You want to say something to the world to say hi or something? Hi, world. Hi. <laughs> and Amy. We have Amy next to us. In the middle. Okay, and we're all in the living room and uh, I'm very happy to have uh, Dutch people here because uh, the Netherlands are my favorite country. Is it? I, I, it is. And um, I wanted to go there, I think it was 25 years ago already, because I think they're very open-minded and multicultural. And I think the school system is different to ours, right? Mm-hmm. In which way? Universities um, things are different. Yeah, I, I think it could be. We have the primary school and then high school, and then we have like, different layers of each. Primary school, school secondary yeah. school, and then uni. Uni yeah. or HBO or VBO. Which is so it is different, yeah. So, but you, when you do the university, can you just choose like a. Uh, um, uh, it's like uh, we have in Austria when you like make geo and business informatics, mm -hmm. you have is prepared lessons or you can choose a lot of lessons. You you did both at this school, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is uh, can you tell something about this? It's so, very special. So what? So mm -hmm. when I uh, did my secondary school, mm -hmm. I did it like five years, five years of secondary school, and then I uh, start to do the. Um, directing and teaching in drama. Uh -huh. So now I'm like theater maker, but also theater maker with um, amateurs. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot like, um, how do you say, teaching to secondary school or primary school or just adults. Vereniging, Vereniging. The Vereniging. The Vereniging. Okay. Yes, theater Vereniging. And you just graduated. I did, yeah, I just graduated. When I uh, I did six years of high school, we have mm -hmm. different levels of high school. When I did six years, and then I went to Denmark to study film, uh -huh. study film directing. But I didn't like directing. I like Denmark. Denmark is a lovely country. Yeah. But uh, I didn't like film. It's too technical. Too many cameras. And mm -hmm. So then I went to Utrecht, where we both lived to study theater writing. Uh huh. So the art of the scenarios for films or the film scripts and the Well, the spoken word within the theater. Okay, <laughs> so the when you would write about the Gesäuse, what would you write? You put you two. You you now here for two days. Mm -hmm. It's the second, no, the third day, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, oh, it's the second, second day. The second yeah. day, and you had an expression already about the area, the surrounding. What would you write? What kind of book? Mm. Oh, I you like have an that. idea? That's hard. That's hard. I think I would write about the feeling of freedom we just walked up the mountains today and there's just room to breathe here in, in within the mountains uh, maybe you should under, uh, uh, explain people uh, why you can breathe here more than in your country because uh, we can't imagine this maybe what what we were talking the last hours mm -hmm. maybe you can resume it yeah well in holland of course it's it's flat but there's also always a building inside so mm. when you walk there's always always buildings flats there mm -hmm. there are houses everywhere and we barely have any nature we have a big park in the middle of the country which is i think 50 kilometers by 30 kilometers and then i think that's the biggest park we have Don't and even that is crowded to... because people want to yeah. visit on nature and and here it's just there's trees everywhere you look and the mountains are further than you can see and there's so much beauty to to see and so much space for nature to grow and I think nature is very close to breathing or for me yeah, yeah. space to breathe in yeah, yeah. I think in the, in the Netherlands like every part of nature if you can call it nature it's like the backyard of a city so you're always around like highways or or buildings or mm -hmm. so it's hard to escape that I think that's the reason why people in the Netherlands want to go to holiday as much, uh, like, really often. Yeah. Because they want to, like, explore more nature than 
than they are living in. Yeah, yeah that's nice. That, yeah. That's yeah. nice. That I, I, for me, it's very nice that I see young people uh, who are very interested in nature, and I see, you seem to me like that. So mm-hmm. I always love that. That's why I made this experiment with my renting now. So can you also explain how you feel in the tent? You sleep in the tent here in my garden. Mm-hmm. How do you feel mm-hmm. sleeping in this tent? I sleep Did... lovely, really lovely. Yeah, actually. you had lots of dreams. I had a lot of dreams, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. I just, um, Lolo w- w- woke up and he said, uh, she said like, oh, let's go out. And I said, no, I have to categorize my dreams first. Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I just said that, I don't know why, but yeah. I had many dreams. Um, and it was, it's actually nice to sleep in a tent when it's um, warm. Yeah. Because then it's um, less, you can breathe more than in a hotel, mm-hmm. for example. Like two days we were in a hotel and we couldn't breathe that much because mm-hmm. it was so warm and it was close to a way, to a, like a highway kind of, so you hear the you, are, you have been to Salzburg, right? Salzburg, mm-hmm. yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, we talked about Salzburg. Salzburg isn't very busy now, you said. As, mm-hmm. as I know, it is it's very crowded actually mm-hmm. this season. Um, That's true, but there were still cars also yeah. in the morning. So you, we woke up with cars, and here it's like you woke up in yeah. silence and the uh, crickles, maybe. The crickles. Church bells. Yeah, church bells. Yeah. <laughs> the church bells, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Lolo and Imre asked me why everybody says here, Grüß Gott. And I said, this is because why it's very. How do you say dominant the church here in mm-hmm. this area? It always was. Mm. Um, for you, it's strange like that to be like a very yeah. Catholic. How well, is it now is? it is strange, but like fifty years ago, it it was still everybody was cath- Catholic or Christian because my yeah. my not my mother but my father was raised up uh, Catholic. Yeah, and it's just now that that God is dead in the Netherlands more like ever, I, th- I think, uh-huh. because, yeah, he is like, not dead, but he's um, not working anymore. Uh-huh. So So do you, do you have religion in school? Or no. Well, yeah, ethic. Catholic uh, primary schools, but the only thing, I, will, I went to one, and the only thing I had to do was like sing a song on Christmas. Okay. And, and that was it. I don't think there are many people who believe in God, and if they do, it's only like Sunday church, but there okay. are no... When we walked into the church here, there was a, a priest or someone or a monk in the, mm-hmm. in the original clothing, and we saw a lot of them in Salzburg too. Yeah, how is I've it? Never seen you? one in in Holland. No, even the priest is just walking around. He's like. But it's not true pens. that we don't have the religion in the Netherlands. But we're from like big cities, so you were mm. raised in Am- or like uh, you were born in Amsterdam and yeah. you grew up in Nijmegen. I'm mm. born in Utrecht and live now in Utrecht as well. Um, but in the smaller cities, for example, I lived with my mother in, um, for four years, five years when I was younger in a smaller city, and all the people there are very religious. So mm-hmm. in the small, small cities, small villages, actually, people mm-hmm. are still religious. Are still religious. Yes. Like mm-hmm. Admund here, I would say. Yeah. Like the Bible Belt. Yeah. The Bible okay. Belt as well, yeah. So this is the forest spot. What, do you have, do you, what, what ideas do you have uh, for forests in... In the Netherlands, your young people, what can could the government do to grow more trees or to make a better nature, or because you 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 said you feel crowded and you mm-hmm. how um, do you want to tell the listeners how old are you both? Twenty four both. Twenty four yeah. both. So you're very young, and uh, maybe you get married and have kids. Uh, what would you? <laughs> It can, yeah, could yeah, be, yeah. or you stay together, have kids, or you don't stay together, or you have another partner and mm-hmm. have kids, or you don't have kids, but it doesn't <laughs> matter. Options, yeah. Imagine you, a couple, have kids. What uh, what you, would you wish for your, your kids or for your future, for the nature? What could the government do when it's so crowded in the Netherlands? Do you have an idea? I think, well... I don't, there's not that much room left in exactly. the Netherlands for trees or mm-hmm. uh, for forests. So I think it will be very hard to, to grow more um, forests, especially because the nature in Holland, we have a lot of uh, Heide. I don't know the English Heide word. is the yeah. same in Austria, that's so Heidenlandschaft. They, yeah, yeah, that's mm-hmm. what they call the natural Dutch landscape. So they mm-hmm. cut a lot of trees to have the natural Dutch nature. With cows like, yeah. and like, yeah. But I think uh, what I saw in, I think they do it in Indonesia or in Malaysia, 
Or no, it was in Singapore. Doesn't on matter. That, on that side yeah. of the garden. They made a, a, full, a full city um, with uh, gardens on top of the buildings mm -hmm. and plants involved within the buildings mm -hmm. and the decorations. So the whole city with 7 million people was as green as a forest would be, but with houses underneath. Yeah, this would be nice. And that huh? would be mm -hmm. really nice for the yeah. eye, <laughs> for, the, for mm -hmm. the air. Mm -hmm. And I think we're already there. Like People start to think greener, start to think ecological, start to think in that way. So, for example, Rotterdam, because Amsterdam is very historic, but Rotterdam was bombed in the Second World War. Mm -hmm. So that's a pretty new city and that can be really like greener, mm -hmm. for example. And I would say when I got kids, um, I would say we got like a vacation house or we go on holiday mm -hmm. many times to much more greener parts. Mm -hmm. We live in the mm -hmm. Netherlands. Maybe you live somewhere else as well. But. but how can you relax then? Because when I go, I'm very I mean, I'm stressed or I can't focus. So I go in the nature or mm -hmm. in the forest. So how do you do this then? Well, go to a forest as well. Yeah. They're just not that big, so you run into a lot of people. Yeah. But yep. there are still trees. Yeah. And they still lakes and water and... You go there also. Yeah, so yeah, it's not do. that there isn't any forest. But if you go in here in the forest, you see like four people maybe. Yeah. But if we go into the forest, you met like... 100 people or 80 you know so yeah. it's pretty crowded yeah. it's pretty crowded and my father lives on a living boat i told you just and there you can swim for example in the yeah. canal and it's pretty uh, de-stressing pretty relaxing I this is say. that also this is nice also so yeah, you have many garden. ways to okay to relax yeah and i think what's different in holland is that our cities are very small so we take our bike and within 15 minutes we're outside of the city mm -hmm. in nature well the couple of trees and park that we call yeah before. so it's, it's very quick to get away from the city even though the city is crowded and the next city is 30 minutes bike ride away mm -hmm. there's a little 10 minute bike ride through the nature mm -hmm. and, and trees so i think we can get away I saw many nice places in the Netherlands. I was, I think, 15 times there. Mm -hmm. And I left the dunes and the sea and the park. I like the Sandel Park in Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. I was lying there, sleeping there, mm -hmm. chatting with people there. Uh, so I think it's a very nice country. Yeah. Um, but I can understand when you said you have 16 millions, you said yesterday. 17 million. 17 yeah. million on which, uh, on uh, the half square meters of Austria that is... It's crowded. Austria yeah. has 8 million, so yeah. we're we are more than doubled. More than and doubled, the, the yeah. country is smaller. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what is the wish for the world, for the forest, for the nature? What, what, do you have an idea? What you, now a lot of people are listening. Mm -hmm. listening um, is something in your heart what you want to tell the world about the nature, about the environment, about the forest, about <laughs> eating, whatever? Stop cutting down the trees. Yeah, and stop and polluting burning. the world as well. Yeah. Yeah. And just relax and enjoy it, but also don't um, don't suck it too much. You know, just leave the trees as they are, but enjoy them. Oh, okay, yeah. And Lola, yeah. Yeah, I, think, I can get very passionate about this question because I I feel like we tend to use the world for our own good instead of enjoying it and letting it be how it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I do hope that we stop cutting down trees just for uh, food for the animals or while well, we don't have to eat all those animals who need the food while well, we need to cut down the trees. And Yeah, so you <laughs> think it uh, should be also a change in the way we, the, the amount of meat we eat also I, in I this way? I do really yeah. believe that, mm -hmm. but I think when it... I'm not opposed to eating meat because when I was younger, I would eat meat. And we would have a cow that would mm -hmm. live in the Netherlands and we would just get half of the cow, mm -hmm. which had lived there for many years. Mm -hmm. So I, I do think that we have to rethink of the way we live in this world mm -hmm. as more of a cooperation instead of a we use the world, but we have to cooperate with the world a little bit more. Yeah, exactly. And we don't have to let the money speak. You know? Yeah, and to be uh, fair, I think it would help if we would get educated a little bit more about nature. So take mm -hmm. 
as a kid, take what, what you do actually, take trips to the forest and see what's around you and right, yeah. and, and actually see it, not just learn it in a book, but, but go watch the birds and there's crazy things happening in, in yeah. nature that we can't mm -hmm. even think of. Mm -hmm. So instead of have a biological class in the classroom, go outside, mm -hmm. you know, go explore and experiment yeah. Yeah. and smell it and feel it instead of learn it. Yeah, yeah. learning by doing, right? Yes, learning yeah, by this doing. Bit in the all education. Yeah, I mean, right. Yeah, learning it's the same. by doing. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. all of the parts in the world I've been to, I've always been amazed by how nature is growing, is working, mm -hmm. and what it does mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and animals as well it's like it's amazing i think we should respect it a bit more yeah so, yeah that's and what we can I also use it to. we can use it we can use the nature it is everything is in nature already mm -hmm. you mean as an inspiration yeah as an inspiration and... or material or anything like we make so much artificial things now mm -hmm. it's already in nature it's, it's already, it's already exists. Yeah. So yeah, we right, can only yeah. use it and and give something back to nature. We mm -hmm. only use it now. We don't give anything back. And yeah. It's with with these nice words, I want to end okay. mm -hmm. because the podcast shouldn't be longer. So people are falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, they say <laughs> so. Uh, it's a perfect end. Thank you very Thanks much so for. Uh, coming to me. There's a next guest coming in. You can come in. We are an open podcast. Uh, I hope more people coming and make uh, joining the forest spot experience in my garden. I'm happy that I have a lot of people here because I'm not traveling and I don't need to travel because all the spirit is coming to me already. <laughs> the travelers are coming to you. The travelers are coming to <laughs> me <laughs> and bringing me the German influence and the Netherlands, uh, the Netherlands uh, Dutch influence. So if you want to have further information, you can check out on the www.forestpot.at or on www.manuelaholzmeister.com. I hope you follow me up. Bye-bye. Thank you.